What are your desires? What is my destiny? Love. How do I get there? Fast. Is he the one? Is this bitch tripping? Shit, maybe. He got one more time. And that time is on our side for touch. Feel. Passion. Love. Lust. Sex. Oh, daddy. Ecstasy. Addiction. My addiction. No cliction. You are listening to the Milky Balls podcast. So stay tuned. And prepare to be milk. You don't have to. Dudes, dudes, dudes lack game now. You know why? Because game doesn't have, you don't have to, you don't have to have a presentation. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, and just be on some, I don't have to put in work type deal. And, and to a certain extent, it's become very true. They've gotten very lazy and lethargic in the ways in which they, you know, communicate and cultivate relationships. That's true. So, you know, for me, I'm I literally just... I invite people to be themselves. And when you come to me with the whole rundown of why you got on your sweatpants and your slides and, you know, why your hair ain't cut, then automatically for me, like, okay, are you're intimidated. Yeah. That that's what that says to me. You are intimidated and because she, she is very intimidating. You know. Don't don't get it don't get it confused <laughs> now. There's a look in her eyes that'll seep deep into your soul, so don't think I mean, she's fucking I, I had a dude mid sentence just be like, Never mind. Yeah. Nah, listen. <laughs> I know exactly what he was feeling. <laughs> Shit is real. But yeah, there's definitely there's definitely cert, certain uh, personalities that can be intimidating. Or that there's a certain energy you feel like you have to step your level up. So what is that? Let's talk about that. Because in dating in 2019, honestly, let's just talk about the women in 2019. Because as a man, like I feel like men are de- drastically behind in the evolution of a woman. And, the, and, because, and, and I say this only because women now versus women, you know, 20 years ago, 10 years ago, five years ago, even it's a different kind of woman, Yeah, you know, like more confident, more aware, more, you know, more, more, more independent and independent, not in a scary way, men, like the independence that I speak of is independence of just owning who they are, being free to be a woman. You know, what's, what's kind of funny about that is the conversations that we as men have is a little different. We feel that I'll speak personally, feel like the modern day woman is actually a little less confident mm. based on the societal norms. Like I, I, I've definitely been around a lot of women that, you know, as soon as they get that new four B wavy or whatever weave it may be. Yeah. 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 They, there's a certain confidence that goes with it. They can't keep from running their fingers through mm. their hair every time they on the video, you know, they're doing their IG stories and they Snapchat just fingers going through the hair, going okay, through the hair. Okay. And as soon as their hair is not done, you know, they quiet. Mm. You know, so a lot, a lot of the, uh, a lot of the confidence that we see now, it's we consider it artificial or superficial. Okay. Yeah, because if, if the eyebrows ain't on fleek or whatever what? it may be, okay, like so it's, it's a lot. You come to me at that angle, I'm gonna come back to you because what happens is men gratify that beauty. Men don't. Men don't often compliment a woman in her natural. Because well, I'll, I'll say that most women in the natural may not be. Men gravitate towards the easier access, so men may not feel that the woman that is natural is looking for compliments, whereas the woman that's you know in the freakum dress with you know all you know the eyebrows oh, she done, the makeup for on, it. she came there for it. So we kind of look at it like that because mm. at the end of the day, like I tell, like I tell most mm. women, like most men, we don't really care about the weaves, you know. We're not a, we're not necessarily a, a fan of the lace fronts, you know. But y'all wear them anyway, not for us. Right, we're cool definitely. without them. You know, but if you're looking for that attention, then we'll definitely be there to give you that attention to gain access to what we're looking to accomplish for tonight. So it's almost like you're putting on a badge saying, hey, come get me, come at me because I need this. This is what this is not true. I I, I know. But it it looks it's like an easier target. Like you're almost putting a target on yourself. And and I really do wish, you know, like, man, if you are listening to this podcast, um, prepare to be milked right now, because honestly, a woman should be able to dress however she wants to, according to however she wants to, however mood that she feels like she wants to, and just be looked at and considered. Now, if she's wearing something tight and she looks good in it, like, take it for what it is. 
she just decided to go out the house wearing that. You got, I think men put too much into what they think a woman is thinking when she does that. Now, granted, you know, you, pe some men have had experiences where they've been in relationships with women and she puts on that dress and she's like, oh, I'm going to kill him tonight. Yeah, you know we, exper we experience firsthand the confidence shift. Yeah, now, and, and I understand that, but, so, but as a woman, what I'm saying is, here's the, here's where the confidence shift comes. Because if you meet a woman and that's how she is and you notice that, but you're a man that adores her natural beauty, yeah. then it's your responsibility to not only boost, you know, help her in that area. You know, hey, hey, you know, look, bae, without that wig, without that lace front, you fine as hell. Come in with them stretch marks. You know what I'm saying? Bring that mm -hmm. tummy over here. Bring that, bring me that boop and sit it on my forehead. We're not going to do that. Like the foop on the forehead, that's that's hey, a bridge. That's a bridge. I'm just saying, some some yeah, men yeah. into it. And, you know, we'll be, it, it comes down to effort. You know, at, at the end of the day, it's, it's not about necessarily the weight or the size. It, it is the confidence. Um, and, and when we feel that shift of confidence, we're kind of going to sway towards wherever that confidence is. So if you've gotten big and now all of a sudden, you know, we're being intimate. And when you ride, you want to wrap a, a sheet around your stomach. Right. We feel that, and we'll take the sheet off, but it's not us; it's you. Right. We see, we see that there's a, there's a, not a shame, but we see that you're pulling back now. You don't want to be exposed. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we'll support you, but at the same time, at some point, we're gonna need that effort from you to get to where you want that's to be. That's true. I, I, I agree. I agree. And that's know. more relationship based for the most part, but that's definitely something that a lot of, a lot of, uh, people go through in relationships is how confident, how sexy do you feel for yourself? because that person can't pour anything into you if you're blocked off and you're guarded. That's true. And I think a lot of people, and, and even in sex, you know what I'm saying? I think a lot of people have those insecurities and it goes into sex. And in, when you're in those intimate moments, you can feel that shit. Yeah.